All right, guys. So the NDP, it looks like they are at it again with another ridiculous ad that they posted here on X. And I just want to kind of go over that with you because, I mean, let's be honest, it's just really fun to make fun of the NDP and Jagmeet Singh because they're just so ridiculously stupid. So let's do it again. Hope and relief versus handouts to greedy CEOs. New Democrats deliver for Canadian families. Conservatives cater to corporations. Let's have a look at this a little bit closer. Jagmeet Singh and the NDP will lower bills for you. So how come things got way more expensive when you and Justin Trudeau when you were in your little two-year relationship? Why didn't you lower the cost, Jagmeet? That's kind of weird. Jagmeet Singh secured birth control and diabetes medications for millions of Canadians. Okay. Which they keep saying are free, and they're not, because it's taxpayer-funded programs. The more programs that they add that need taxpayers' money to fund it, the more expensive everything gets. It's not free. We're just going to have to pay more and more taxes. School lunch for every child that needs it. Really? Because I, I, I know quite a few parents. I've never heard of one of them say to me that they've gotten their kids a free meal at school. And again, when they say free, they mean taxpayer-funded programs. Protection for renters. Now, this one I actually love because Jugmeet Singh and his wife are both uh, landlords. So I would really like to talk to that person who's renting out a property for them to see if they are protected. How much are they paying in rent? Because I, I would bet, just, just off of instincts, that they're probably paying the same insane prices that we're all paying. You think Jugmeet Singh and his wife care about their about their tenant giving them a fair price i really really doubt it unless maybe it's a family member but i've heard they're just like regular tenants they own they own some property that they just rent out to people i bet those people are paying insane prices too so why don't you protect those renters jug me does you and your wife protect renters when you're renting out to them i would guess not mental health supports for young people well remember when he supported the lockdowns which made mental health issues way, way worse. Was he protecting them during the pandemic? No, he was protecting his fears and his interests. That's what he was doing. Like they abs like they, do they do you really think for a second that these people give a rat's ass about mental health for anyone? If they did, again, you would think that during their two-year relationship that he had with Justin Trudeau, that they probably would have put in programs to figure out, or at least put in money to research, hey, what's going on here? Because even before the pandemic, you saw a, like mental health issues have been on the rise for decades. And they still can't seem to figure out why for some reason. So why don't you put some money into doing that? And then put some money into finding out, okay, what really helps? Because it seems like these pharmaceutical drugs don't really help either. For some people, they do. But for about 33% of people, they actually get worse. Another 33%, they don't, get, they don't feel anything at all. So 66% of people who take those pharmaceutical drugs for mental health issues are not receiving any relief at all. And half of those people are getting worse. And this has been the case for a long time. So again, you had your little two-year relationship with Trudeau. Why didn't you work on that? Well, we've got some programs. That, yeah, you got the same old programs. You're just going to rename it. You're going to bring these kids into therapy instead of getting down to the deep-rooted issue, which likely has a lot to do with our food, which they're not even talking about. Our food isn't even real anymore. And to be fair, Pierre Polyev isn't talking about that either, which is a, it's a big problem in my opinion. However, the Jugmeet Singh and the NDP Liberal Coalition keep saying that they're here to support mental help, especially for young kids. No one believes it. Why would they believe it? It's getting worse. They haven't even apologized for locking down Canadians, which again, made it even worse than it already was. But they care about you, Canada. What they said about Pierre Polyev, bigger handouts to CEOs. Pierre Polyev secured for CEOs $60 billion in corporate handouts, including $2.35 billion for the grocery cartel. I love how they call them the grocery cartel. That's a little bit overdramatic, don't you think? Not to mention, 
when did Pierre Polyev secure that when he was housing minister? So basically what they're talking about is he voted for some bill to help grocers 10 years ago or more. Well, if you vote on something, whether it's good or bad, if it's been 10 years, you're going to get a little bit of a pass because for the last 10 years, who's been in charge? Trudeau and for a big part of that, this guy here on the left. So if they have all these ideas, hey, we're going to fix rent, uh, grocery prices and we're going to get inflation down. Well, okay, inflation's come down a little bit. But they keep saying, oh, we're, we're going to make groceries more affordable and we're going we're gonna to do this and we're going to do that. Really? How come it's not happening? All they want to do is just tax people. That's the thing with liberals and the NDP. All they want to do is just tax, 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 more money for us, and we'll just waste it on stupid programs that don't even work anyway. Nice job, guys. Yeah, yeah, you're for Canada for sure, for sure. And again, I have my questions about Pierre Polyev, which I will be making a video on that shortly. But when you're the ND, when you're the leader of a party, and this is the kind of crap that you come up with, how can you even expect people to take you seriously at all? It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. There isn't a very important election tonight in BC. For, it's the provincial race, and it's going to be either the BC conservatives or the bc ndp that takes power or remains in power if you're the ndp i really hope people out west are smart enough to understand that the ndp has done nothing but ruined your province so please if you're out there if you're listening if you're in british columbia go out there and vote if you haven't already but we need to turn bc blue that's where the canadian blue wave needs to start out west and let it just wash over the rest of the country because that's what we need and you know it and I know it, and everyone who has half of a brain knows it. So let me know what you think in the comments section of this ridiculous ad that the NDP, led by Jugmeet Singh, put out today. And also let me know if you're out in BC, did you vote? Uh, hopefully you did, and hopefully you voted for the right party so we can get things uh, back on track here in Canada. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as it really helps grow this channel. And I'll be back shortly with a new video.